hello my people how una day how are you guys doing hope say una day can't be hope say una family day okay good to see you people again good to welcome you guys back to my channel welcome to dz studio today episode now so my husband take take charge for my kitchen he say he won't teach us how to do spinach for yoruba language now a four rero with the column how to do a four rero now my husband won't teach us today guys make una just the watch to see how me and my husband bond together and how we take you this onion spinach, garlic ginger oh, yeah, make watch. We'll be right back. onion garlic ginger So we're about to pour in the the blended pepper and crayfish. They already there's already crayfish in the blended pepper. If you're a Yoruba person in the building, can you give me a thumbs up? Seasoning cubes. Seasoning cubes in it. Guys, I hope you're learning. And you can stir properly. So you stir properly. Okay, so I'm going to add a little iru, which is um locust beans, just to give it that um local flavor mm. you, you can use any one that you want you can use okiri but iru is actually very cool for me okay so they have different type of iru because things okay so our pepper is frying right yes <laughs> and it smells good mm, i can perceive it it's Guys, right. you're missing. No, oh. so you can good. use this sauce to eat beans, yam, yam, boiled plantain, boiled plantain, even and rice. even rice. Oh my <laughs> god! Guys, okay, so we can now add our oh, so these are fish, it. put it, these are dried fish, okay. it's local dry fish, and it's actually very tasty too. Okay. You know, so we can add this. You can you are free 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 to add anything you want to add, okay. chicken, meat, anything. Okay. If your husband is not a Yoruba husband, you are missing. No, oh, come and learn from my <laughs> hobby. Okay, so with this, we would add our beef. Because As, um shredded beef and pomo. Right? Yes. So you stir. And it was cooked, it's been cooked already. Yeah. And seasoned. Hmm, this looks very interesting, guys. My husband is the one teaching me how to make traditional Yoruba a foriro, which is um spinach. Yeah. Yeah, spinach sauce. So we'll leave it to fry a little so, so it's actually very good. It won't allow your pot to scratch or to get spoiled. Or you to know? get burnt. Or to get burnt. So it also helps. You know, if you use something like this, it can actually burn your food. It can scratch your pot. It can actually scratch the bottom part, the burnt parts into your meal. Okay, because it's actually very sharp. It has sharp edges. Adding it last so it won't um, it won't break into pieces when we put it. That's why we're adding this one last. It's supposed to give it some flavor. What, babe? What kind of fish is this? Okay, so this is smoked pala. <laughs> so now I can just stir a little, so the fish will not burn. Oh my god! The fish will not break. So... Yeah, oh. it looks very nice. That's one thing about the foro. It has a lot of things inside for you to eat. The pomo, the beef, 
the dried fish, the smoked fish. You can see everything popping. Okay, so this is shoko. If you're a Yoruba person in the building, you know what we're you talking about. You understand what shoko is. And it shrinks easily, but when you put it inside the stew, it's, um, it gains more, gains more and, you know, it fills the pot. It's actually very, very sweet. And so we'll start adding this. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Don't forget to um, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you very much um, for supporting my video. Thank you for watching. So um, just keep watching. We're about rounding off. Thank you guys. And um, if you know you have not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? You're going to see more of this from me and my husband. More lovely bonding. So um, this is like an encouragement to you. You can also do something like this with your husband. Like I said in my previous video, you can bake with your husband. You can um, cook food with your husband in the kitchen. That's part of bonding, you know. So, guys, um, this is what we're talking about. So you can stir and just make sure the, the fish and the meat has actually swollen the shoko vegetable itself. This is so rich. So whatever you, you want to eat, you can use this to eat it. Come and see this. Okay, wow. <laughs> oh, it's actually it. showing that the thing is cooking itself. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> so it's steamed up already. Already, yeah. Oh, so you can god. see it. Oh wow. The water, you can see part of it. It's steamed a little. Wow. Oh, and it smells good too. Oh my god. So our eforiro is ready. Yeah, it's ready and it looks good. Oh wow! Okay, guys, thank you for watching and um, come and join me. You guys are always asking. I invite you. I'm inviting you now. Come and join me. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank